Hi, my name is Chenin Nantan Senamad, and I'm a senior developer advocate on the Streamlight Community Growth Team. And so in this short walkthrough, I'm going to show how we analyze the Streamlight forum posts. So the Streamlit forum is powered by this course, and it allows the community to post their questions on their problems that they have encountered and the Streamlit DevRel team and also other members in the community will be able to help to solve their problems. So what we have done here is we've analyzed a subset of the Streamlit forum, particularly the using Streamlit subsection. And each of the questions here will be tagged complete if there's a solution. And if not, then the post will be ongoing. So all of the posts here that we could see could be web scraped. And luckily, there's a hidden feature where if we append .json into the URL, we're able to then retrieve the entirety of all of the discourse content here. So what I did was perform some initial analysis in a Google Colab, and then afterward created this particular Streamlit app in about 173 lines of code. And the Streamlit app is shown here. And here we call it the Streamlit Forum Explorer. So what the app can do is it collates data from the Streamlit Forum, as mentioned here, and then it will suggest related forum posts given the query that the user has provided. And so under the hood, the app will use the input query provided by the user. It will use the query and then perform embedding. And then once it has the vector embedding, it will perform a k-mean clustering, and then it will then suggest some of the neighboring, the nearest neighbor forum post. How is it useful is that for a given query, it will suggest topics or other forum posts that are similar to the given query post. And so here, let's type in module not found error, which is a very common question that the community is facing. And oftentimes there is already a known solution to this and therefore instead of reinventing the wheel and then providing the same response, it would be great to identify some of these common errors and then pinpoint and then suggest how they could solve that particular problem. And so here we're going to leverage the ability of this application to identify nearest neighbor post, and then the user will be able to find relevant posts. And then here in the result here, we're displaying the score or the similarity score of how this post is similar to the query that we're asking. And whether this particular forum post, which is similar, does it have a solution? By having a solution, let me click here, and then we're going to be taken to the respective forum post. A solution is marked solved, meaning that there is already an answer or a solution post inside the thread of the forum post here. And so here in the parameter, we could adjust this to be more nearest neighbor, meaning that we're, there's going to be more uh, posts here, but then it will be limited by the score threshold. So here we could also adjust this to be a lower score so that we'll get more solutions here. And then the questions that the user has asked, module not found error, will be displayed here in the topic cluster. And this cluster was created using TSNE clustering. And so we can see here that the square is the question that the user has entered, and it is within the confinement of the orange cluster. And if we hover around, we're going to see that most of the posts that are related are also due to the module not found error. And so this allows us then to cluster or group related forum posts together, and it allows the user to solve their own question. And it also allows us, the moderator of the content or the forum, to be able to identify similar forum posts so that we could collate all of this information and then create and compile a FAQ section. So this will greatly help us in creating content related to commonly asked questions. And so this is a quick walkthrough of the Streamlit Forum Explorer, and we're in the process of enhancing this particular application further. So thank you for watching.